Item number nine. What can you do to promote civil engagement in your generation? Civil, okay, sorry. What can you do to promote civil engagement in your Civic nga po kanina sinabi ko eh. Civic engagement in your generation. Wala akong bustiso eh. Okay, para sa iyo, paano mo ito promote yung civic engagement sa iyong palaga, sa iyong ano, henerasyon? Hindi ko alam eh. Hindi mo alam siya. Yung mga pakasal. Alam mo na yun? Maraming maraming salamat po. Para po sa akin, para po nga po ba ipromote ang civic engagement sa aking generation. May ladies and gentlemen, para po sa akin, ang pagpapakasal ng dalawang tao, lalaki at babae, ay dapat kating ginagalang. Para, pero hindi po ito batayan upang masabi, dapat mamahalan, ay dapat natin pagbasa, ibase sa pagpapakasal. Dahil meron din babae at lalaki naghihiwalay, dahil nagkakaproblema ang kanilang, ang kanilang relasyon. Ganun din po yun sa ating mga sa ating mga LGBTQ para po sa akin bago ko pa po ipapush yun naniniwala po ako mas maglalaman ko po ang pag-ibig ko ang pag-ibig ko dahil, dahil ang tunay na puntasyon ng pag-ibig ay tiwala at respeto sa bawat isa yun lamang po at maraming salamat I have the picture number Question number two. All right, Miss Patricia Payumo, this is your question. Pay me klamang po tayo sa pagbibigay po ng ating mga katanungan para higit po nating maunawaan ng mga kandidata na lumalahok sa umagang ito at tayo pong lahat ay matuto sa kanilang mga saloobin o sa kanilang mga pananaw sa buhay. So, Ms. Patricia Payumo, this is your question. Masasabi mo bang tama ang desisyon ng isang tao dahil iniisip niya lamang ang kapakanan ng maraming tao, ngunit isinasawalang bahalan niya naman ang kapakanan ng iilan? I repeat, Masasabi mo bang tama ang desisyon ng isang tao dahil iniisip niya lamang ang kapakanan ng maraming tao ngunit isinasawalang bahalan niya naman ang kapakanan ng iilan? Wow, this is a very tricky question but I think that this question applies for um, the government officials that serves the public because they are the ones who are in charge to implement such laws. And being part of the LGBT community, being part of the, a marginalized group, which often times we are facing discrimination and inequality. And I believe that these lawmakers, these public officials, should decide what would benefit all than most because I think that in serving people I think that the that the best way to serve and to lead everyone is by setting a good example that would benefit all but um, for the meantime there are um, groups or um, activities that could also cater the minorities that affects such as the LGBTQIA plus community and I believe that having these programs, we could all address the problems of the minority and the general public as well. So I think that I am in favor of um, the government officials um, having implementation of laws that affect general people, but will be having programs for those minorities so that we could um, take care of all the problems in our society. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kelly. Number three is Ms. Patricia Payumo. You have to pick. 
your questions number four. And you pick question number four. Okay, candidate number four, you pick question number four. Halimbawang magkakaroon ng pagkakataon na may nakakahawang epidemya sa inyong lugar at hinihingi ng sitwasyon na kailangan magbuwis ng buhay sa bawat pamilya para makaligtas ang inyong buong angkan. Maliban sa iyo, kaninong buhay ang ibubuwis mo? Sa iyong ina na nag-aalaga sa iyong magkakapatid o sa iyong kapatid na bagong silang nasanggol na mahal na mahal ng iyong ina. I repeat the question. Halimbawang magkakaroon ng pagkakataon na may nakakahawang epidemya sa inyong lugar at hinihingi ng sitwasyon na kailangan magbuwis ng buhay sa bawat pamilya para makaligtas ang iyong buong angkan. Maliban sa iyo, kaninong buhay ang ibubuwis mo? Sa iyong ina, na nag-aalaga sa inyong magkakapatid o sa inyong kapatid na bagong silang nasanggol na mahal na mahal ng iyong ina. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The question indeed is very hard because it is giving me an option to sacrifice someone from my family which in real life situation I believe ladies and gentlemen as much as I want to give you a pageant patty answer I would be realistic between the two whom would I want to sacrifice my mother who's taking care of us or our newborn brother or a baby or sibling in general in our sibling. Well, for me, honestly, I would have to sacrifice the life of our sibling that is newborn. Why did I say so? Ladies and gentlemen, the problem is epidemic. It means that it will be affecting our whole community. And the reason why I have chosen that newborn baby is because he or she does not deserve to have a to have a problem at a very young age. Imagine she or he is still a newborn and he or she will experience this epidemic. Come to think of it, nakakapanghina po ng loob kapag nakakakita tayo ng batang nahihirapan dahil sa sakit. Kung kaya't mainam lamang po na siya na lamang pong aking isasakripisyo sapagkat naniniwala po ako na kapag siya yung sakripisyo, maiintindihan po ito ng aking ina. Bakit? Walang ina po ang gusto makitang mas mahihirapan ang kanilang anak kapag dinanas nilang epidemya. Ang aking ina, oo, nandyan lamang siya. Kami ay kanya nga alagaan. Ngunit bilang anak, ipapaintindi ko sa kanya na huwag kang mag-alala sapagkat mawalan ka man ng isang anak, nandito pa din kami para sa'yo. At mawalan man kami ng kapatid, lagi mong tatandaan, mas gugustuhin mo pa bang nakita siyang naghihirap? Imagine, a baby being sick, ilalakad mo sa ospital, and take note, it's an epidemic. So there is no assurance that she or he would be put immediately into emergency dahil panigurado. Mahaba po ang pila. Kung kaya't mas lalong may hihirapan ang bata. Therefore, I would sacrifice the newborn baby. So forgive me God, but I believe in this situation, we should be intelligent and we should have an option to choose because at the end of the day, it's just a matter of explaining to your parents what is right and what is the good option, what would be the best option. Lagi po natin tatandaan, ang mga bata wala pang muwang yan. And some even believe that there is reincarnation. Kapag namatay siya sa panahon ng epidemya, who knows, God is good. Maaaring kapag wala ng epidemya, muli siyang ibalik sa amin. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because you know what? Depression is not a joke. Mental health awareness is something serious that we have to take into consideration. Wherein they would ask what is more important, physical health or mental health, come to think of it. 
Nung pang nag-aaral kayo, kapag tinatanong kayo ng inyong guro, kung ikaw ba hindi ka nakakain sa iyong utak, masasagot mo ba yung katanungan ng iyong guro? Kung ikaw ba hindi ka nakakain, hindi ka makakapag-function. Everything in our body is correlated to one another. So let us stand here and let me use this platform for tonight na sana kung meron kayong mga kaibigan, tapikin nyo naman minsan. Malay nyo, hindi na sila nakakausap. Kamustahin nyo, friend? Okay ka lang ba? Kailangan mo ba ng kausap? Okay ka lang ba dyan? Andi rito ako. Meron akong balikat. Pwede mong iyakan. Meron akong tenga. Handang makinig. Meron akong puso at isip na handang kumunawa. At meron akong bibi na handang magbigay sa'yo ng payo. At lalong-lalo na sa akong kaibigan. I am a friend who will be there for you. Just like what Nam Panin once said, Thou shall be a friend and you will have a friend. Thank you and good evening. Magandang gabi po. Thank you so much, Kelly number five. And you pick question number seven. How do you define leadership and you could and can you provide an example of when you demonstrated it? I repeat, how do you define leadership and can you, you provide an example of when you demonstrated it? Thank you so much for this very interesting question. Now the question is that how I define leadership and I have to provide an example of how I demonstrate it. I don't want to go around the bush. I believe tonight I am standing here in front of you as a representation of trans community. So therefore, I firmly believe to myself that I am doing it right now to represent my community. And so, I want to educate everyone about our life, our story. I also believe that the true leader should have a power of command. Someone who can inspire other people, someone who can touch the life of other people, and someone who can afflict everyone. And I believe I am that person, a true leader. Thank you and good evening everyone. Thank you so much, candidate numbers. Hi, good evening, everyone. Okay, this is your question, candidate number seven. Kung ikaw ang papipiliin, anong ahensya ng pamahalaan ang bibigyan mo ng kapirasong budget at bakit? I'll repeat. Kung ikaw ang papipiliin, anong ahensya ng pamahalaan ang bibigyan mo ng kapirasong budget at bakit? Naniniwala ako na ibibigay ko ito sa pinakamaliit na institusyon dito sa ating bansa. Mayroon pong tatlong balangkas ang ating pamumuno. Nariyan ang legislatibo, eksekutibo at ang judisyari. Ngunit, naniniwala po ako na dapat itong ibigay sa pinakamaliit na unit ng isang bayan. At ito ay ang mga barangay. Dahil ang mga barangay, ang siyang mamumuno sa mas maliit pang na nasasakupan ng mga taong namumuno at dapat na manguna sa pagsulong na kung ano man ang nararapat para sa ating mga mamamayan. Maraming salamat. Thank you so much, candidate number seven. Question number eight. All right. Candidate number eight, this is your question. Sa iyong palagay, sino ang dapat mamuno sa isang pamayanan o lungsod? Isang bata na malinis ang angarin o intensyon sa pamumuno at pagseservisyo ngunit di sapat ang kaalaman o isang matandang veteranong matalino ngunit korap. 
I'll repeat the question. Sa isang palagay, sa iyong palagay, sino ang dapat mamuno sa isang pamayanan o lungsod? Isang bata na malinis ang hangarin o intensyon sa pamumuno at pagseserbisyo, ngunit di sapat ang kaalaman o isang matandang veteranong matalino, ngunit korap. Thank you so much. Well, first things first, I will never ever support a corrupt politician because I firmly believe that corrupt politicians leads to the catastrophe world. So that between the two choices, of course, definitely, I will choose the youth that has the credibility to be a leader. A leader is a good follower and with the greatest power comes with the greatest responsibility to the children who is watching right now and I know for a fact that there is an SK chairman sitting in a judge um, chair I believe na ang kabataan ang pag-asa ng bayan it may sound cliche it's from our national hero Jose Rizal ito'y ating panindigan dahil ako'y naniniwala na sa bawat pagkilos at bawat pagbibigay ng kredibilidad ng mga kabataan para sa ating komunidad ito ay magsisilbing um, lesson sa mga susunod pang henerasyon na kaming mga kabataan ang siyang magbubuklod-buklod at magbubukas ng bagong pinto na puno ng oportunidad para sa inyo, para sa atin, at para sa buong bansa. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ken. I'll repeat, sa iyong palagay, dapat bang isaalang-alang ng mga organizers at mga horado ang pangalan o pagiging veterana ng isang kandidata sa pagpili ng mga mananalo sa isang beauty pageant kagaya nito. Thank you so much for that very wonderful question. Ladies and gentlemen, at this very point of time, when it comes to trans pageantry, there is a lot of famous contestants or candidates. They are well known because they are old, or maybe because they did something to be remembered. But I believe it shouldn't be considered. Why do I say so? Because ladies and gentlemen, there are famous candidates or trans pageant candidates who has become fake because of being famous in this world or in this time. So I believe ladies and gentlemen, you should always filter in every candidate it doesn't matter how famous they are. It doesn't matter how powerful they are. It doesn't matter if they know someone in the panel board of judges or the organizers. Because ladies and gentlemen, I myself, I am famous. But I am being underrated. Why? Because I can do more. But people always expect me to do less because I am not popular. But then again, ladies and gentlemen, I have a lot to offer. I am capable of what I am becoming. Because when I won Binibining Pasigano 2023, I raised awareness to different causes and I helped many barangays. With that being said, I believe name is just a name. Being popular, it will be it will be let or it will eradicate it. Or I should say, mawawala din ang pagiging popular mo. Naniniwala ako, minsan pa nga po, may mga kandidata na minamanipula ang mga kriteriya, binabago nila ang mga kriteriya kung ano ang pabor sa kanila. Which is very not necessary because it always complicate matters. But then again, ladies and gentlemen, if you come to think of it, filtered every, every candidate know their purpose, know what they are capable of, then we can have a better and fair, appropriate judging in every competition. Good evening. Sa iyong palagay opinion, ang, iti, ang intablado ba na iyong tinutungtungan gaya ng gabing ito ay isang pangarap o isang simula para sa pagpapalago ng iyong pagkatao? I repeat, Sa iyong palagay o opinion, ang entablado ba na iyong tinutungtungan gaya ng gabi ito ay isang pangarap o isang simula para sa pagpapalago ng iyong pagkatao? 
That is very, very good question because we are going to, uh, we are, you are witnessing is uh, a pageant that is becoming uh, rampant or becoming one of the hot water topic in our society nowadays. So to answer your question, yes, this pageant for me is the beginning. O simulain sa paglago ng aking pagkatao. Because I not I will not see pageant for, for me as a winning or trophy or a crown or someone that can give ads to my credential. But I see platform, but I see pageant for me as a platform. As a platform for me to enact changes. As a platform for me to become a voice, to become a reverberating sound to the muted voices, especially to the LGBTQ community. That's why we are handling a trans pageantry in order for us to be visible, in order for us to in indicate that we are not just existing, but we, LGBT, are living. Ladies and gentlemen, as a journalist, it is my responsibility to give right information, to give right context to the LGBTQ community. And I want to do it through this platform. I am working right now as a journalist, but I am continuing joining pageant because I believe we should eradicate the idea that pageant is for crown. Because a true queen should not wear crown in his head, but rather in her art. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kenneth number 10. If you could create a campaign to raise awareness about global issue, what would it be? I repeat, if you could create a campaign to raise awareness about global issue, what would it be? Well, thank you very much for that very difficult question. Of course, it is a global issue, so I definitely have to widen my mind at the moment of time. I have to take into account not just the people of the Philippines, but people all over the world, people in different countries. But I would have to say that if there is a global um, campaign I would like to make at the moment of time, that is for everyone, people not just in the Philippines, but people all over the world, to be disciplined enough in taking care of our Mother Earth. Why? Because as I can see, every time I wake up, I am a fan of scrolling all over my social media. Most of the people are fan of watching celebrities, entertainment, and so many more. But we are not seeing how important it is for us to be disciplined enough of taking care of our Mother Earth. This is where we live. This is where our heart should be able to focus on. And this is the campaign that I would like to boast out for everybody. Dahil ang nangyayari po sa mundo, ang simpleng pagtapon ng basura sa ating kapaligiran ay hindi po natin magampanan. We should be able to be disciplined enough and respect our Mother Earth to the best that we can. Because at the end of the day, without this world, we won't be able to live a better life. Thank you and good evening. Thank you so much, Kenny number 11.